जय केदार Now we are off to Kedarnath Temple. Finally, we have reached Kedarnath Temple. Hi guys, I am Chiyu. Welcome to my channel. We are now heading to Kedarnath Shrine. Now we are standing at Gauri Kund. Yesterday evening, we reached Sonpur. We have done our registration, and I stayed overnight at Gauri Kund. So guys, let's check it out. We woke up early in the morning and got ready for trek to the Kedarnath Shrine. Gauri Kund to Kedarnath is about 16 to 17 kilometers, and this whole path must be reached on foot. So I recommend you all to start your journey early in the morning. In this new route, charming Mandakini will accompany you. After a while you will find a pony stand over there. If someone won't trek, he can take a pony from here. But pony will be drop you in the Kedarnath base camp. From there the temple is about 1 and 1/2 km away. This path has to be walked on foot. Those who want to avoid the strain of journey to Kedar can avail the helicopter service. There are several non-government organizations to provide helicopter service from Fata to Kedarnath. Online booking facilities is also available, but it's okay for the elderly people. Rather, I would suggest to trek. It is tedious, but the beauty of the nature will wipe out your whole tiredness. snow-capped mountains cascading waterfalls torrential river what else do you need The new route of Kedar has increased by a distance of 2 or 3 kilometers from the previous one. 
but the upscale increased a lot. The new route is quite uphill. Especially, after crossing the Mandakini bridge, access is very high, but nothing to be worried. Let's enjoy the beauty of the path. You just don't need to rush on the way to Kedar. Take your time, walk slowly, enjoy your journey. Keep in mind that Kedarnathji will not give you any rewards for early arrival. As a result, go slow on the way. Don't put yourself into any race or competition because the amount of oxygen in the air will decrease as you go higher. Carry the water bottle along with you. Take rest at regular intervals and have some water. There are ample shades for resting on the way to Kedar. Those having breathing problem should carry Coca-6. You can also use Camphor instead. We started early in the morning from Gorikund and Gorikund to Jungle Chitti is near about 5 km. It's steep gradient. We have reached now at Jungle Chitti, so it's time for a tree bed. We reach Bhimbali by afternoon, although we have crossed only 6 kilometers. Bhimbali is a small chatti. The pilgrims took a little rest here on the way to Kedar. A few sack is over there. The sack owners provide food to the pilgrims. Kedarnath is more than 10 kilometers uphill from here. The distance of Lincholi is 5 kilometers from Bhimbali. Time is running out, so we have decided to take our lunch in Bhimbali because there is no suitable place to take food after Vimbali. There is a GMBN rest house in Vimbali. If anyone feels tired and reluctant to move off hill, then he can spend a night over here. Once you sit to rest, you would like to keep glued to the seat. So we spent nearly an hour just by lazing. After crossing Bhimwali, we found the new bridge on river Mandakini and went a little downwards to cross it. Now Mandakini is at our reach. The swift flowing Mandakini winds its way across the rocky river bed. The way ahead still bears the scars of the flash flood of 16th June 2013 when this river outrageously flooded the whole surroundings. The gigantic rocks and boulders still are lying around as witnesses.
it is a steep gradient up to Lincholi. We moved ahead in a slow pace. The sun was about to set as we reached Lincholi. There are a few inns for lodging at Lincholi. Tents are also available on rent with common toilet facility. GMVN also provides cottages and tents for lodging. We prefer the GMVN cottages for our night stay, though a bit expensive. It is equipped with the best possible amenities. Cozy rooms, soft beds and a clean toilet with a geyser are all that make us happy. At the end of October, the night temperature here goes down to minor scales. So we needed a warm shelter to escape the biting cold. It's a whole day hectic trek and I got tired, feeling hungry also. Finally, we have reached Lincholi. Lincholi is 11 km away from Gaurikund and tomorrow morning we will visit Kedarnath Shrine and Kedarnath Temple is 5 km ahead from here. Nature was showing the magic show in the sky of Lincholi. There is something about the pigs are being bathed in red and yellow light that makes everything look extra magical. We were stunned by the magical scene. All the fatigue was washed away. Hey guys, it's chilly morning out here. We spent our night at GMBN Rest House, Lincholi. It showed minus 2 degree temperature last night. Now we are off to Kedarnath Temple. Kedarnath Temple is 5 km away from Lincholi. Stay tuned for next update. We started early in the morning from Lincholi. We are feeling refreshed due to the good sleep last night at GMBN Cottage. But it was the beginning of the November and we were shivering in cold and the paved path ahead was steep.
The stunning view of Kedar Mountains was in front of our eyes. It was glittering like a mountain of silver. We waved to Mount Kedar and increased our speed off to Kedarnath. It was difficult to trek on a stiff gradient, but the beauty of the Himalayas made the task easy for us. After crossing steep gradient, we have just reached Kedar base camp. Uh, we are feeling hungry, so we have decided to take our breakfast here. Kedarna temple is 1.5 km ahead from here. We will start our journey. Let us have our breakfast. If you come by horse or pony, then you have to get down at Kedar base camp. Then the rest of the paved path has to be walked on foot. As we started early from Lincholi, we couldn't have our breakfast yet. We found a junky shop beside the pony stand in the base camp. We had our breakfast with a plate of yummy noodles. After having our breakfast, we restored some energy. Still, we had to trek one and a half kilometer for Kedarnath Temple. We found a small lake on the right side of the path just before reaching Kedar helipad. But we do not know why this lake is named as Google. Even Google doesn't have any information about this lake. We reached Kedar helipad. The pilgrims are coming by copter. Another group is flying back.
Kedarnath is still bearing the scars of the devastating flash flood of June 2013. The reconstruction of the Kedar temple complex is getting done in full swing. Now there is wide open path in front of the temple. The temple can be seen from a distance. There was nothing left except the temple after the calamity. Everything has been rearranged. Government has taken up several projects to renovate the Kedarnath shrine. Finally, we have reached Kedarnath Temple. You can see just behind me the Lord Kedarnath Temple. Each and every year, lakhs of people visit this shrine with their offerings. Kedarnath Dham is notable for the famous Kedarnath Temple, which is one among the twelve revered Jyotirlingams of Lord Shiva that our country has. The Temple of Kedarnath lies in Uttarakhand, Rudraprayag district, and is cradled at an altitude of 3,583 meters above the sea level along the banks of River Mandakini. The religious significance of Kedarnath Dham is closely associated with the history as well mythologies related to the Kedarnath Dham. According to historical records, the Kedarnath Dham dates back to nearly thousand years or more in terms of its age. History of Kedarnath hence is a synonym of the mythical stories of legends behind the shrine. It is believed that this temple was set up by the Pandavas and later was revived by the great spiritual guru Adi Sankaracharya when he visited the place around 8th century. Therefore, the temple dates back to the epic periods of Mahabharata as per legendary or mythical tales. Pandavas, after the great battle of Kurukshetra, were guilt struck for having killed their own kinsman. In order to get freed from their sense of sin, they came looking for Lord Shiva, who alone could absolve their sins. First they went to Kashi in search of Lord Shiva, but learned that the Lord now dwells in the snow-wrapped Himalayas. So they proceed for the Himalayas and enter the region via Haridwar. But Lord Shiva was not in a mind to give them easy ablution for their sins and thus hid himself from their sight by taking the shape of a buffalo. The location where the Lord had concealed himself later came to known by the name of Gupta Kashi. From Guptakashi, Pandavas proceeded towards Gaurikund where two of the Pandavas brothers, Nakula and Shahadeva, spotted a unique looking buffalo. Vima picked up his mace and started pursuing the strange buffalo. The clever buffalo had hidden its face into a fissure on the earth. Vima grabbed it by its tail and after a fierce tug of war, the buffalo's body disintegrated and scattered in five directions. Its hump fell in Kedarnath and the Kedarnath temple came into being. The other parts of the buffalo's body such as arms, face, hair and navel fell in other places such as Tungganath, Rudranath, Kalpeshwar and Madmaheshwar respectively. These four places along with Kedarnath came to be known as the Holy Panch Kedar. Hamare saath hai is mandir ke Purohit Pandit Prakash Chandra Shukla. Prakash Chandra Shukla. Ye mandir jo hai कम से कम 5000 साल पुराना है कुरुक्षेत्र युद्ध के बाद उनको जो थोड़ा गोत्र हत्या ऐसे पाप लग गया फिर उनको आकाशवाणी हुई फिर कि आप जो है केदारनाथ एक जगह है हिमालय एकदम सबसे जो लास्ट जगह है वो हिमालय क्षेत्र है आप जाइए तो वो चल चल यहां से आ गई आपके गोरी मंदिर केदारनाथ पहुंच गए तो उनको यहां पर जो है कुछ नहीं दिखा सिर्फ भैंस दिखे उनको उनके बीच जो शिव थे भैंस रूप में वो उनको दिखाई दिए तो पांडव ने फिर यहां पर उनको पकड़ लिया तो वो पत्थर रूप बन गए भैंस भैंस का पत्थर हुआ पत्थर में वो भैंस के पीठ बन गए तो उस भैंस की शिला यहां पे रह गई पत्थर रूप में और मुख चले गया नेपाल में तो यहां पर उन्होंने जो है तब तो शिवजी थे फिर उन्होंने मंदिर बनाया पूजा अर्चना की फिर यहां से उनको शांति मिल गई समझ लीजिए हैं तो यहां से लोग सरगार हुई एक जगह है वहां वो लुप्त हो गए एक एक करके लुप्त हो गए हमारे संग्रह सर जाए फिर जब उन्होंने मंदिर प्रसा की तो उन्होंने तो वो भी सगर मैंने शिव जी हैं वो भी शिव रूप हैं तो उन्होंने यहाँ पर जो है प्रचार प्रसार हो गया धीरे 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 तो यहाँ पर जो है लोग आने लगे धीरे धीरे प्रचार प्रसार होता गया तो यहाँ पर जो है साक्षात बैकुंठ में केदारनाथ जी हैं आज इस सेट दिस इस बेसिकली ए हिंदू माइथोलॉज
Each year the followers of Lord Shiva visit this holy temple. The scenic beauty of Kedarnath town attracts lots of tourists from all over the world. You will find it quite crowded during the summer season. In the month of May to August, thousands of devotees visit the Kedarnath temple. During winter season, Kedarnath is closed for 6 months due to snowfall and extreme cold weather. Traditionally, the pilgrimage starts in last week of April and ends in end of October or first week of November with the onset of winter. As the shrines receive heavy snowfall during winter and are inaccessible, the idols and symbols are moved to nearby Omkareshwar Temple of Ukhimat which remain open during winter. There are many newly constructed accommodations available around Kedarnath Temple. Tourists or pilgrims now can easily spend their night over here. The backdrop of Kedarnath becomes more attractive during sunset. It seems like someone has set fire on the Kedar mountains. The orange gold stretches far and wide. All peaks look like the mountain of glittering gold. You can't even blink your eyes for a while. In the true sense, this is the magical hour of Kedarnath. After sunset, decorative electric lights are put on to alight the Kedar Temple. The whole ambience seems to have changed suddenly. The temple is like cradled on the lap of the Himalayas. You might be hypnotized with that ambience. A little bit later the evening will be dark and the aarti will begin in the temple premises this is an unearthly scene which makes you stand still i will show you the entire footage of aarti in kedarnath temple in an another episode In the wee hours you will feel the actual divinity of this place the whole environment is different holy chant is coming out from inside the temple and it's floating in the air the himalayas are waking up with the first rays of sun it made me realize why kedarnath is the best among the 12 jyotirlingas of our country truly some eminent persons say without visiting kedarnath life remains incomplete Hey guys, hope you all enjoyed my video. Keep following. If you like my work, then give me a big thumbs up and share it. If you love travel and adventure, then please do subscribe my channel. So that's all for the day, guys. 
we'll meet you soon again till then goodbye take care